Here you are. I've watched your progress. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. I take it you're okay here? You don't seem particularly caged, or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased Shepard is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? All Krogan should know you. Or have you forgotten your actions on Vermeer? I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider, one that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army, but she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about collectors, not your problems. I see. Yes, collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde. But it will learn to fear the lands. You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the Genophage on your people. Perhaps. But I will restore the Krogan. And my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or horde would. My legacy is perfection. With each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead. They will exceed, but not forget. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the Genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the Genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy.
that weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the Collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. Kill Jador. I do what I must to save my legacy. seen us. someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan. That thing can't be worse than Okia. And if he's tough, we need him. Do we need the trouble of a pure Krogan? The normal ones are hardly team players. We won't know until he's out, which is too late if there is a problem. Normandy, Okia is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo holds is safe enough while I decide what to do with them.
subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. Why do you want me to try to kill you? Want? I do what I'm meant to. Fight and reveal the strongest. Nothing in the tank ever asked what I want. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. That imprint failed. He has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. Is it that easy for Okir's perfect Krogan to abandon his mission? Okir is just a voice in the tank. If his imprints are true, then he created something stronger than him. So he's not worthy of me. And if his hatreds aren't strong enough to compel me, they've failed too. I feel nothing. I have no connection. I took you and I released you. Follow my command and you'll have purpose. Nothing in the tank imprints indicated humans could be so forceful. You command as though you've earned it. My enemies threaten galaxies. Everyone on my ship has earned their place. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Shepard. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Shepard. Anything in your tank in Brinsley?
Shepard. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on Collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. That's all for now, Shepard. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Change of plans, Commander. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patch him into the comm room. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morden delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Caden Alenko, is stationed on Horizon. Last I knew, Caden was Alliance. Why is he out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they sent Commander Alenko, it must be big. I suggest you take it up with him. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew? I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after him to get to you. We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> Tell me you have something. Yes. Lilith, 
got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Commander. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you! Run! Hurry!
collectors are disrupting communications. We're on our own now. Geth got that technology from Sovereign. If man was right, collectors must burst. Sort of looks human. This one of the colonists? No. Only in Prime, victims were turned into husks by impaling them on spikes. We haven't seen any. The collectors must have brought the husks. They're taking the colonists alive for something else. The collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? Speculation will get us nowhere. It could be anything. Guess we'll find out when we stop them. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced. Evolved. They still die when you shoot them. The Collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Yes, sir.